My name is Crystal Parks and this is The Spicy Hustle. Why did I want to do this case study? I'm going to be honest with you. It was a mixture of things. But for one, once I transitioned from being in the spicy community to um, the more corporate, I don't even call it corporate, more business-ish world, real estate, <laughs> Once I transitioned into real estate, um, I realized how the spicy creators is definitely an underserved community. Um, and that's just based off of the experiences that I've had in the past, um, with it being the banking system, with it being really a lot of different resources that is available to pretty much anybody else in um in any other sector um, so when I started to notice that I retired incorrectly and how many other women I knew that I knew personally that just we weren't doing it right we didn't know any better um, and we need help we need help there aren't any services, financial services geared towards spicy creators. There aren't any retirement, estate planning, none of that geared towards spicy, spicy creators. And most times, oftentimes, when um, there are the women in that industry that venture out to get some kind of um, assistance, um, just even knowledge, the environment for us is not always welcoming. So on one end, I saw that there um, and I wanted to have a safe space for um, spicy content creators to be able to come and talk openly. I've, I have been not just in the spicy world, but like kink life, like I'm a kinker. I have been in it for years, over a decade now. Hmm. So there is nothing you can tell me that is going to surprise me, that is going to disgust me. Like I've heard, seen, and done a lot of it. So it's like you can come to me and we can shoot the shit and then we can also talk about business and like, okay, what what are your goals? How Like when do you want to retire? And if we're going to use real estate as your vehicle, um, this is what we need to do to get there. And aside from that, um, I have since I've been in the real estate industry, I have met a lot of different people in um, I've met wealth managers, um, aka financial advisors, um, as well as some really dope life insurance agents that get it when it comes to investing because they are setting up um, investors correctly in order to retire correctly. And I know it's becoming a, like a real um, trendy thing to do now, but there are some people who've been doing it for 20, 30, 40 plus years, and I have them in my phone and telling me exactly how we should be set up. Not only using my expertise in real estate, but also you know, being able to refer them out to trusted people who I know who are doing it correctly, and that will point them in the right direction. So that was on one end. Why? On the other end, once a spicy girl, always a spicy girl. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I had to itch for it. I, I miss my pervs. That's what I call my fan base. I miss my pervs. Um, so it was kind of like a two words, one stone type of thing. I got to scratch that itch. You know, and then I also got to do like some purpose behind it and actually show women who have been in my shoes, are in my shoes, that um, there's a way, there's a way to do it. So the whole overview of it all is to show uh, spicy creators how to run up a bag or how I would do it, um, and then what I would do with the money. And that's invest in real estate. So. In a capsule, I'm gonna be doing two different, um, two different projects at once because one is the like I'm actually doing it, like I'm doing the spicy hustle, and then the other part of it is like I'm gonna be going over strategies, 
platforms, softwares that I use to actually do it. And then I'm going to marry those two together. And then hopefully, it's going to be a really cool project. It's going to be a really cool um, experiment um, to see if we can actually make the goal and invest in real estate, which it is so possible. I remember making tens of thousands of dollars when I was a dancer. And if I knew then what I knew now, listen, listen. And that's, it's just like when you're in that industry, you really don't have that many people telling you what to do with your money, how to, how to be smart about it. It could be a really like lonely industry. There's, most times you are alone um, when you are a spicy hustler. Of course, there's collabs or whatever. You'll travel with girls, but it's you, you by yourself. And most times you're not talking about investments. Um, I got lucky to meet a few, one, maybe one, two girls who were older than me and then planted a seed, right? They planted a seed. But it wasn't the um, popular thing or trendy thing to do. So I feel like if this becomes a movement and it becomes the trendy thing to do, girls can go into it with the mindset of, okay, I'm going to run up this bag, right? I, I'm, I'm going to run up this bag. Not to go splurge here, do this. Of course, get to the lifestyle that you want, obviously. But invest it so that I can be in this industry two years, three years, whatever your number, whatever your number is. And then I have an out. And then once I get out, I can still maintain this lifestyle that I've created. So that's the goal. Um, let's see how it goes.